So how do we find the mass percents of nitrogen, hydrogen, phosphorus, and oxygen in ammonium hydrogen phosphate? Well, it turns out first thing is we gotta find the total mass of the compound and then finding those percentages are gonna be easy as pie. Take a look. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write down the individual elements I see in the compound. So we've got nitrogen, we've got hydrogen, we've got phosphorus, and we've got oxygen. Then we're gonna write the number of atoms of each and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now there's a couple of subscripts uh, going on, so we just gotta be careful. Anywhere there is no subscript, just put in a one for now. So in terms of nitrogen, the total amount of nitrogen is not only one because inside of the ammonium ion you have one nitrogen but you have two ammonium ions, and therefore you'd have two nitrogens. In other words, the simple way to calculate it is just take the inner subscript, multiply it by the outer subscript to find the total. So we'd have two nitrogens. Hydrogen now is the same thing. You got the inner subscript of a four, outer subscript of a two, so there's eight hydrogens in total here, but don't forget, uh-oh, there's also another hydrogen over here, and there's one, so that means you have a total of nine, okay? You also therefore have one phosphorus, that one's nice and easy, and you have four oxygen. Then we're gonna take the number of atoms of each and multiply it by the mass of the element. And these masses are found on the periodic table. Here they are. Hydrogen is 1.01, .01, nitrogen is 14.01, .01, oxygen is 16, and phosphorus is gonna be 30.97. So that's what we're gonna write down. So nitrogen is 14.01, .01, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, phosphorus is 30.97, and oxygen was 16. And then to find the total mass of the element in the compound, we're simply going to multiply this row on a cross. So that works out to be 28.02 units of mass for nitrogen. Hydrogen is gonna be 9.09. .09. Uh, phosphorus is 30, 30.97. And oxygen therefore will be 64. Now, add this column on up to find the total mass of the entire thing, the whole shebang. So this is gonna be 132.08. And there you have it. That's the total mass of the compound. That was the first step of the process. Now to find those mass percents, I'm gonna add a column to the table and it's gonna be easy as pie doing the rest. Bam, so to find the mass percent of nitrogen, we're simply gonna take the total mass of the nitrogen, the 28.02 units of mass, divided them by the total mass of the entire compound, 132.08 units of mass. Don't worry about the units because they will cancel. Whatever this is will be the same as that. And then you're gonna multiply it by 100. Where did it go? There it is. And the reason why you're gonna do that is, well, to convert it into a percent. This is a simple percent calculation, part over whole times 100. And when we do that, it works out to be 21.21%, and that's the percent of nitrogen in that compound. Same thing we're gonna do for hydrogen now. Take the total mass of the hydrogen, divide it by the total mass of that entire compound, multiply that by 100, and it's gonna be 6.88 now percent of hydrogen. Same thing now for phosphorus, right? You see how repetitive this gets? And that's actually a good thing. That means it's easy. Times 100, all right? 23.45% now. It's not easy in the beginning, but when you practice and you have structure, it becomes very simple. So take the total mass of the oxygen there, 64, divided by the 132.08, multiply that by 100, and we're gonna find a percentage here of roughly 48.46%, all right? And that's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you wanted to check yourself, you can simply add up those percentages and they should be equal to basically 100%. And uh, you know, that's what I want for you on your next test, all right? I, we have a whole channel dedicated to doing just that for you, to helping you get there, all right? Remember, nothing great is achieved without hard work, dedication, and practice, okay? Let's do it.